Hi, my name is Jennifer and this is a response to uh, the existence of God proven by For Christ. Now, this video came to my attention because Divine Soterology sent it to me, apparently thinking that uh, this is one of those things that's foolproof, rock solid proof that God exists. And obviously, if you uh, deny that this is rock solid proof for God's existence, then you're probably got some agenda. Uh, because if obviously, if there's rock solid proof of God's existence and you refuse to believe God exists, then you have an agenda. So I watched this video and it's not proof that God exists. And here's why. It's just a logical argument on behalf of the existence of God. It also doesn't provide any uh, experiential evidence for God. What this person, what poor Christ did was put together a series of non sequitur statements and then concluded that therefore there must be a creator. It's not logical. Sorry. The word non sequitur is Latin and it means it does not follow. In logic, it basically means that your premises, the statements of, that you're building your argument upon, while they may in fact be true, do not follow one another. An example of a logical argument, one that does follow, is A equals B. That's a premise, A equals B. Your second premise is B equals C. And because those two things are related through B, you can therefore conclude with some degree of certainty that A must therefore equal C. Logic, wonderful thing. Here's basically what poor Christ says in his video, uh, The Existence of God Proven. First he says that everything must have a beginning. And he goes into great detail on why this might be. And, and his argument for why everything must have a beginning also is filled with non sequiturs. But let's assume, for the sake of argument, that everything has a beginning is true. His next premise is that something cannot come from nothing. And again, he goes into great detail on why he believes this premise is true. And for the sake of argument, let's say it is. Again, he used a lot of non sequiturs in, in that construction, but we're going to go with the, the big picture here. Everything has a beginning, premise one. Premise two, something cannot come from nothing. That's premise two. And then he concludes from these two premises that there therefore must have been a creator of the universe. Here's what that construction looks like logically. Everything has a beginning is E equals B. Everything equals beginning. Right? That's the first statement of lot, uh, the first premise. His second premise is that something does not come from nothing. So S does not equal N. And from this he concludes that there's a creator, C, and the creator created the universe. So C equals CU. And when you look at it this way, you can see very clearly that these statements are in fact non sequiturs. <laughs> not logical. So for those of you who are apologists and trying to convert people to Christianity or just to monotheism in general or to theism in general, polytheism, whatever, this argument isn't going to convince anybody who, who studied logic because we look at it and we go, a bunch of non sequiturs, not logical. And I'm not rejecting it because this is I'm trying to be evil or anything. Just, that's not logical. See? E equals B and S does not equal N does not allow you to conclude that C equals CU. I'm just saying. Bye.